If there's any ghosts in here, oh my God. make that radio go off again like it did without being plugged in. Okay, so I'm out here on the farm doing a little backhoeing with my tractor, evening out a lot of uneven spots on the Safe Haven Ranch. There goes all the animals over there. And if you were watching my live stream it's the other night, I actually let all the animals go and free range through all the nine acres that we have here. They have about, I don't know, maybe close to two acres. I am going to be fencing off this area too for them, give them a little extra space. Only thing I did not like about having them in the open is they started going into my newly built home. Oh, wait, where's it at? Yeah, right over yeah, right there. I'm building a house and it's not completely done yet. And there are, you know, nails and stuff around there. And for some reason or other, they love the nine acres, but they love that part of the nine acres even more, even inside the house. I even have some video footage of one of my goats headbutting herself in the, the window because she thought it was another goat there. I have those big sliding glass door windows. Let's start this baby up. <laughs> Yeah, I got a little dirt up there too. We gotta drop it off in a hole. Wow, look at that sunset, so beautiful. We gotta find a hole to put this in. Oh, there's one right over here. I already covered that hole. There's a hole right there. Drop this baby off. Drop it off. A lot of dirt. Lift this up a little bit. I'm gonna smooth that back out a little bit later. It's getting dark out. And we have somewhere special to go, somewhere fun. There goes my forklift, and that's a spear for hay. Got a lot of holes to repair in the property. Yeah, we're gonna do them little by little. It was a big one that I had to take care of. Oh, Malia's here. Come here, come here. This thing has air conditioning too. It's amazing. And a little light. It's like 100 degrees here in Florida in the summertime. So yeah, I can't be dealing with that. Malia's got a little cowboy hat. Look at you. Oh boy, look at this. <laughs> Put your hat on her. Beautiful, gorgeous day at the Safe Haven Ranch. I must say, just gorgeous out today. So I have this really cool shed to keep our babies safe. How you guys doing? Hey, look, they're starting to get their feathers already. Wow, they've like doubled in size. I think these guys are starting to enjoy their new barn. Hey, what is Lamar doing? It's like he's smiling at me. So yeah, I did change some stuff up in the safe haven paddock. I put this little area over here. That's a future spot for my chickens, but I'm still putting Gracie and Dak and Macy in there and I got the goats in there kind of separated from Tom but for the most part the goats sometimes do stay out and the llamas guard them they kind of hang around Dixie and Lamar the entire day and night so yeah it's a little bit more separated plus I want the dogs to be around the chickens so then if something breaks in they have to get through this fence and that fence and when they end up on this side of the fence I feel really bad for them because my dogs are gonna get them and the llamas and maybe even Mona. Mona looks mean. I mean, just look at her. All she needs is some face tattoos. Look at that ear. I think it's a signature look for Mona. Hey, Lamar. How you doing, bud? So, today's like the first day in a while that me and Tiffany get to leave together. All right, you ready to show us our new place? Just recently, I went like on a weekend trip to film up in Canada, and Tiffany held down the farm for those couple days. It was just like a real quick bam, bam, bam. Now, being that we have the farm now, probably not gonna be able to travel as much as I used to, but I'm still gonna be traveling, and I got a lot of projects too. Today, we're gonna go to a really cool place, a couple hours away, it's called Mount Dora. Never been before, we saw it in a, like an Instagram reel, and we're like, wow, we've never been. I mean, there's so many places in Florida to visit and so many historical places. And this is one of them. Just a beautiful all around place. The weather's going to be nice. This would be a nice special getaway for us. Hey, Tom, are you mad at me for separating you from your ladies? Look at him. <laughs> it's like, let my ladies out. Tom is getting fixed next week because he just started doing something funky. You guys look happy this morning. They're always happy. I think the hardest thing with having a farm is just making sure these guys are safe. You know, they need to be able to be locked up at nighttime when they're babies. So that's kind of a big thing. They're not looking like babies much anymore. Hi. Oh my gosh. Hi, Jack. I mean, look at him. He's like almost five feet tall already. Macy is, uh, she's gotten a lot bigger too. Some people think that she's an alpaca. She's actually a baby llama. What are you guys doing? I got to separate them pretty soon too because Dak will be ready to mate. And I do not want them having puppies, at least right now. Maybe in the future. How the other day when I let my animals out, I had the gate open. It was to let somebody in that was servicing my tractor. And when I opened that gate, guess what happened? Gracie went running out. One thing about great Pyrenees dogs is they don't listen 
trained very much. And it's not because they're not smart or lack intelligence. They're very intelligent dogs, but they're very independent. It's bred right into them. What are you eating? I didn't put anything in there. It's really important when you have a farm too, to have scheduled vet visits. I mean, with all these guys, hey, want some? You know, they need to be kept healthy. There's parasites out there. I have a vet that comes and checks up on them once a month. You know, they check up on them, make sure they don't have parasites, gives them vaccines if they need it, medicine. How are you doing? You should go, boy. You guys have come a long way, not gonna lie. They would not let me pet them ever. If you want a real friendly llama, get them as a baby and bottle feed them. Just take me easy. Mm, look how cute she is. She's just so cute. Mm. I put all this dang food over there. They want their little red. I, I don't know. Maybe it tastes better out of here. Oh, not enough in there for you. Ew, it was a bunch of snot now. <laughs> I'm just scared him away with my sneeze. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Oh my God. I'm sorry. It's just, you, I'm allergic to love. She got a lot of flies on her. I got some spray for her, but she will not let me spray it. Anytime I do, that's all my little. Whoa. What the? Why would you do that? Why would you attack the goat like that? That's so mean. But look, look at that. I just put all this food in here. And I want to chase the guy with the red bucket. I mean, even Thelma was following me over there. It's the same food. It's the same food. Yeah, there you go. They still have a lot of hay. Got my stepdaughter, Ariana, coming to take care of them. And she knows the whole routine. All right. So, yeah, this is my little feeding area. Keep all my feed in here. Got my stuff closed in so then rodents can't get to it. Yeah, we're gonna get away just for a couple days because it's my birthday. I'm excited about that. Got a long drive this morning. You're invited to come along. No, it's one thing about great Pyrenees dogs too. They just, if you give them a chance to find something to get into, they're gonna get into it and make a mess. I do not know where that even came from. But, oh, you got into the treats. You little sh Oh my God. Just thank you for making more work for me. I was about to leave. Wow. All right, you ready to show us our new place? Yeah. We get the whole pool to our, oh. Yeah. What? Do got a little editing to do. Well, I got my book bag with me. So it should be a nice, peaceful little getaway to somebody in here. Oh, I just opened it. Oh, it smells nice. It's so cute. It's really cute. Nice. Nice little bed. It's a cute little house. It is super adorable. Yeah, look at the old radio. That's probably haunted. Wait, did this thing turn on? It's not looking good. <laughs> is there anyone that wants to communicate with us? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> Golf. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's the thing? I said the devil. He said pull up his sleeves and claim the devil. Pretty sure this thing has a happy face on it. See this? I can't believe this worked. Look, because this is not doing anything. Look at this. I think it's just one station. What is it saying? Call him goodbye. How old is this thing? <laughs> This is a little freaky. Okay, old boy. Your time is up. Oh, I'm gonna turn this off. It sounded like a threat. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna need you to unplug <laughs> this so that way it Dude. does not come on in the middle of the night. Does it even have a date on it? I'm curious. It has to. See if the guy's still talking. Why are you gonna call me, Mr. Death? You know what movie I feel like right now? Something with Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> no, remember the movie um, where the guy's talking to his dad from like the past with the old radio? Oh, the radio, yeah. What was that movie called? Uh, I know you're gonna, it's one of my favorite movies. Are you from another time? Whatever he's saying is creepy. <laughs> Look, I'm not making this up. All right. I, I, <laughs> why is this radio creepy to me? I don't know. Because it's old and it's hard to hear what he's saying. And no, he's but he's telling like a really weird story. Let me turn. I want to turn it back on. Rest in the arms of Jesus. Go out eternity. I'm not with that. 
So maybe it was like. Maybe it's like a gospel channel or something. That makes more sense. But why was he saying some really weird stuff before that? I know. Though? Like right when you turned it on, it was like something about the devil and. Uh, well, I mean, I, but guess I mean, so. the devil and God. Yeah. So I don't know. Makes sense. <laughs> but I grew up in church and like some of the stuff he was saying was a little weird. We'll listen in later. <laughs> Unplug it. Please. Yeah. Unplug it. Watch it turn on in the middle of the night. While no. we're oh, look, I almost thought this bird was fake. There's a big old hawk. Look, that is real. Oh, babe, you gotta see this. Oh, you missed it. That's what happens when you gotta go poopy all the time. What is this? Your little record coasters. How cute is that? What are you doing? <laughs> Dude, you just missed the coolest bird right now. Well, I took a picture of the toilet paper because I knew I was about to use it and you weren't gonna be able to see it. So mm. I wanted you to be able to, look how cute that was. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh look, I like this. He loves Tampa Bay. She loves, um, what's the name of that team again? You forget how to read? It's the, the, the Bucks, right? You love the Bucks. The Blue Bucks. There's the Red Bucks and the Blue Bucks. <laughs> she had that made custom for her. Was it for Valentine's Day? Yes. It's cute. So it's not like super warm here in Florida, but it's warm. I mean, we got short sleeve shirts on and shorts. I don't know how warm this pool is going to be. I've been wanting to swim for a long time. It's seven feet it's so cold. right there. <laughs> I told you. That cold just went. <laughs> I just got two belly buttons. I think I'm going to pass. No, I want to get in, but like, I'm so it is freezing, right? Okay, all right, one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that kind of bums me out. I want to really go swimming. I think maybe once we get in, our bodies will adjust. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, no. All right, I have a better idea. How about we just chill on these lounge chairs and... I mean, it's not even sunny today. You kind of go numb. <laughs> you just kind of numb it out a little. Go in the deep end. I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> here, let me help you out. It's a pro Don't, it's a process. Let me, let me help Don't. you out. I will literally throw you in here. I'm what? Boy, stop. Ah! <laughs> Tiffany's brave. So that's cold. You get hypothermia. Dude, the whole reason we got this one was for the pool. For the pool. That's okay though. Is this considered like an ice bath challenge? Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, Tiffany is just getting out of the shower right now. And uh, yeah, she's- You hear it? You hear it? I did hear it. Go stand in there, just stay in there. So uh, the radio is not plugged in and it's making noises. You can see it's not plugged in. If there's any ghosts in here- Oh my God. Make that radio go off again like it did without being plugged in. I told you. What's this? What is it? What is, why is it going off? Oh my God. That scored the fuck you. <laughs> that was freaky, was scary, but yeah. Had to figure out why. All right, so we're walking in downtown Mount Dora and it's beautiful out here. It's not even super late, but weren't we out here during the day and it was like super busy, there's people yeah. everywhere. Some guy was yelling a second ago. I was trying to do some B-roll and some guy was like, ah! I love these little shops like this. If you like really good Mexican food. Really good. We went to, it's probably one of my favorite Mexican restaurants. Fiesta, Fiesta Mexican or something. Fiesta something. Yeah, tell them Omar sent you. <laughs> Maybe they'll give us some free tacos. Almost reminds me of Ybor City a little bit, but not really, no. Kind of St. Augustine. Yeah, it's got like St. Augustine, maybe Key West vibes. You know what I'm kind of feeling right now? Hmm. Old Town San Diego. Oh, yeah, okay. More greenery. Yes. Cause it's like more deserty there. Like this is so, so cute. awesome. If you ever see one of these trees in Florida, don't touch it. You know why you don't touch it? Why? As soon as you touch it, there's a lot of thorns. That's called, uh, I believe, a bogan villa. a little spoopy in there. <laughs> Let me know if you see any ghostesses. What the? What the? 
hey, maybe he's really happy. All right, let's see how much houses go for. I can't even see that. Is that bad? No. <laughs> All right, I'm zooming in with the camera here. $550,000? kind of house is this? I mean, that is a nice house. All right, let's see this other one. All right, this looks like more of my style here. That's nice. This one is $1.2 million. Wow. Maybe it has a lake view. But hey, if you like any of these houses here, this one's sold for 800 and something thousand dollars. So she must be a really good realtor here. Mary Jo Williams. Big shout out to her. Okay, I'm lying. This is more of my style right here. Like a nice, I mean, minus the houses being so close to each other. This house is $309,000. Perfect size though. Three bedroom, two bath, two car garage. We paid less to build our house. I mean, mind you, we're still waiting. It's been almost two years. Okay, these are rentals here. $2,500. Okay. All right, so there is supposedly a clickbait alleyway and it's to our left. Oh, this is cute. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely like St. Augustine vibes. Human organ for transplant? This almost reminds me of that town we were in by Casadega, D-Land, kind of, a little bit, especially that place over there. Oh, it's a museum. Oh. That's an old firehouse in the city jail. You know, this place has got some ghosts. All right, we're going to take a magic peek inside. <gasps> Hello. Thanks for letting us come and say hi. As soon as I got close to that place, a fly went up my nose. True story. This is pretty romantic. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's an alligator over there, though. You are all about the romance. Yeah, and there's some... Oh, look at those seaplanes! Dang, this is so cool. There's like a bar or something, like playing some music close by. That's pretty awesome. So we started doing a little bit of driving and looking at houses. It's something that me and Tiff love doing. And yeah, that's when we found Tom Brady's house in Mount Dora. All right, we just found Tom Brady's house. Wow. That's really pretty. But we ended up in this town. It's another town called Tavares. And like I said, we're not far from Orlando. People think that like only thing to do in Florida is go to Orlando. There's like, so many cute little small towns like this. So nice. What's that you say there? Huh, okay. Oh, yo, check it out up close. Never seen a seaplane like close like that. There goes the other one. That is tight. I wonder how much one of those costs. It's not clickbait. There are real alligators in this lake. Check it out. I spotted them from Watch far away. Oh, right, there he goes. There's the alligator. Look at him. He's chilling. Now, he's not that big. He's probably two and a half, three feet. So, yeah, whenever you're out here on some of these lakes, pay attention because you'll see them. Now, people think that, like, because it's an alligator, they're going to eat you. The only time an alligator is aggressive is if people have been feeding him. Oh, he's coming over here? Oh. Someone was probably feeding this alligator. All right, I want to walk around even more, see if I see any more gators. I was joking around with Tiffany and I was like, oh, I see some ripples. No, I, I was like, I see some ripples in the water. And then like, sure enough, there was an alligator. I, and I was just, you know, it's probably just the wind. Hey, look, oh, Ma. Oh my God, I'm more scared It's of that. a spoiler. That's a big juicy spoiler. Whoa, he's twitching. All right, fam, so we decided to take a last minute trip to Disney, Epcot, being that it wasn't far away. Do you smell poo? <laughs> I smell poo. Yeah, it smells sweet. Look, I mean, literally, there's there's some poo behind me. Oh my goodness. What's poo doing? What's he catching? Some butterflies. Is he catching butterflies? Kind of like me right now. I'll be catching butterflies right next to you. <laughs> the weather is perfect today here in Florida. It's, I don't know, like 72 degrees. Almost feels like California weather. Wonderful, wonderful weather. What would you say? feels great. Yeah, they have a lot of really beautiful flowers. It's like a flower festival going on right now. There goes Mission Earth. I'm gonna go there in a little bit, give you a tour. That's probably my favorite ride here at Epcot. Least favorite ride, Mission Space. Don't go on that ride. I've heard some horror stories. I was never the same after going. I mean, I just, I get dizzy really easy. Like claustrophobic motion sickness. Yeah, so it's one of those, if you get motion sick real easy from like false movement, don't go on that ride. But I mean, it's really cool. You know, if you can play them kind of virtual video games and feel just fine, then you might be all right. So today's my birthday. Turned 41 today. Yeah, that's why I got a lot of grays here. Uh, I look pretty good for 41 though. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, you do. Yeah? My, my aging okay? Deliciously. Deliciously. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. <gasps> Whoa. Look at this good looking guy right here. No, hey, where are you going? 
Okay, supposedly there's a ton of butterflies inside here. Oh, wow. They're everywhere. There's even moths. It's so colorful in here. Wow, look, they're just so happy. So sad. They only live like a couple days, right? Like, this is what they waited their whole caterpillar life for. But look for. how happy they're making. I'd be pretty happy if I could fly right now. Like, wouldn't you want to spend your last days like flying? I'm afraid of heights. Only Tiffany. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Those are all cactuses. Oh, or cacti. Oh, wow. All right. I have a really big woody. Oh my God. Behind me. <laughs> all right, fam. Pay attention to the new Safe Haven Ranch backyard <laughs> landscape. I did it all myself by hand yesterday. Oh, well, I mean, Tiffany did lend a hand with the tractor. So yeah, we, we did all this. <laughs> in about 16 hours. <laughs> now, we did a good job, right? Like $10 million later. I didn't expect that. Okay, you know what I just noticed right now? What? Well, Disney does an amazing job keeping people like me that have major allergies, especially during like a time where there's all these flowers, all this pollen. Like, notice I haven't sneezed one time. That is true. I haven't even seen anybody else sneeze. But what? You gotta go that way? Yeah, you haven't sneezed at all. And you normally be sneezing. I'd be sneezing a lot. Yeah. yeah. So they have all these countries set up around Epcot where you can have food from the country. You could even, like, some of them have rides. What's your favorite ride here in the countries? Mexico. Yeah. Wherever you Mexico are. has the coolest ride. Oh, I'm the coolest ride? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay, we're inside that giant globe at Epcot. This is my favorite ride. Favorite. Okay, so the way they do this is you start out at like the beginning of time, and then we go into the future. I feel like I was Egyptian in my last life. I have dreams of being Egyptian. Hey, what you doing there? You playing the Ouija board? That's King Tut. Oh, no. Again. Not again. Please remain seated. We'll resume our journey shortly. We're trapped in Spaceship Earth. At least we don't have one of those bars that's like paralyzing yourself. If there's a fire, you can't just run out of here. And momentarily delay. Again? Please remain seated. Please remain seated. Turn around and scare me. We'll resume our journey shortly. Hey, mister. Hey. He looked up. Hey. Hey, buddy. Can you give me a kiss? You know who that is? Da Vinci. All right, see, now we're in the 1970s, I believe. And the guy's big glasses over there. We're in space now. I can see my house from here. Okay, that's pretty trippy. Whoa. Oh my gosh. It's hurting my eyes. Okay, I don't know how they did this, but it's pretty cool. This is my future right now. Yep. Huh. <laughs> is that you, Tiffany? Tiffany? The blur? Yeah, I wasn't looking at the camera. Oh, the next one! Uh oh. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Kill him out, dude! Hey, you're alive in here! That's cool. I don't know this, that is so cool. It's like an actual bird. That's a manatee right there. Probably came from Florida. So cute. It is kind of tricky. It's like we're underwater right now. Oh, wow, yeah. That one's tail's like messed up. I got injured by a boat. There is a dolphin in this aquarium. A couple dolphins. Makes me sad seeing these guys in aquariums. Not gonna lie. Look, Ma, it's a shark. Look at that guy coming at you. Oh, it's like he's flying. Oh, look at these guys. They look like old men, like grumpy old men. Oh, Mama. What kind of shark is that? Dude, that sea turtle is 100 years old, they said. Wow. So we ordered a pizza for two to three people, it said. And uh, look what we got. That is very big. Yeah, definitely a lot more than two to three people. Like, I might just eat a little piece of this piece right here. It's a very thin pizza, okay? Even if you're on a diet, you're all right. Here, go. Hey, hey, How is it? <laughs> Check it out, we're in Mexico. Cool. We're like outside, but we're inside. Mm -hmm. a fantastic birthday today. This is a nice way to end the day here. Look at all those beautiful colors. 
What do you say? Where'd it go? Oh yeah, there it goes. Wow, that's cool. Well, anyways, thanks for joining me today and yesterday. Gotta go for now before we leave. Give me keys. Peace.